Hey folks, Tony Lockhart here, and in this video what I'd like to do is to start working with some clips in um, Adobe Premiere Pro. So the first thing I'll do is to show you how to zoom in and zoom out, because this is pretty helpful. You want to be able to, to slide this around in your timeline so you have a way to manipulate things. Also you could scrub through and you can watch the animation that's playing or whatever the video clip looks like. And then what we need to do is to remove some of the clip. So that's part of the, the clipping process or the editing process, okay? So let's do that right now. So if we look at this clip and I scrub through, notice that the background changes color um, for a couple of seconds. And I, what I wanna do is to get rid of that portion. So what I'll do is I'll play the animation and at some point I need to stop. I can use the arrow key on my keyboard to go back and forth if I want to, but I'm gonna find a good stopping point. I'm gonna press C to cut. And what happens is, is I'm allowed to now slice this clip because this other portion is what I don't want. You can see a line in between them so you know that they're separate. So now what I could do is click V and then that will allow me to select this piece, okay? Now I'm gonna click on that and let me delete it. And now we're all set because this clip is ready to go. It starts out good, it has some kind of motion and at the end of it, um, there's nothing weird that happens. Okay, so there's some fun things you can do. For instance, if you select on it, you can press C to control C to copy, control V to paste, 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 and you can make um, lots of different copies of your actual animated clip or your video clip. Super, super handy, okay? So let's go and add one that's gonna go on top of this, okay? I'm gonna go and create, or I'm gonna go find another piece of animation. So I'm gonna take this, let's drag it over here, let go, and here's a brand new animated clip. I'm gonna put this on another line that's above the actual animation. So by default, what's gonna happen is it's gonna show, Premiere will show what's on top. So notice we have this clip that's done in blue. It's gonna show that first. And as soon as the clip is over, we're gonna see the other one, which is on the bottom, it will show up. So the same techniques apply in that you can scrub through your animation. At some point, you can hit the letter C to cut, V to select, and then you can delete. But here's something that's pretty neat. You can go to this clip with it selected, and then in this area, click, click. And what you're allowed to do is to go and change. So you can move and scale this down and move it and rotate it. So this is pretty handy because what'll happen now is you'll see both of those animations playing at the same time. Now granted, you wanna make sure that they fit together well. That's not, it, this doesn't look so good together with my animation, but you know, I just wanna show you that this can be done. So we can just kind of go and you can see, it's gonna, when it pops up over here on the screen, that's because the playhead is gonna cross over and it's gonna show the one that's on the top and the bottom at the same time. Okay, there you go. And if you want to, you can duplicate this and you know, or you could just add in other types of clips as well. And when you go and add those other clips, make sure that you click, click and that they're edited properly because you know you want to be able to have control over the type of things um, that you're you're doing with your animations. Okay, so maybe I'll put this one here. So this one will play over here, and then this one will disappear, and then this one will magically appear. And notice both of them are small. So what's going to happen is is that um, we're going to be able to see the larger clip that's on the bottom. Okay, I think the last thing for this video is um, we should go take some audio and bring that in. You can just drag the audio in the same fashion that you did with the video clips. So you just find, you know, find some open source audio, um, save it to a place that you're gonna use it. And then what you can do is in, um, in Premiere, you can drag and change you know, how much you decide to trim. You could select and move stuff around. You can hit the letter C to click to cut, V to select and delete, and then there you go. You, you've essentially, you're manipulating all of the clips in a way that will play in the way that you want it to.
Okay. One last thing with audio is that you can increase or decrease the volume. And this is pretty handy because if you're going to have some background music um, that's playing, but your motion clips actually have audio, you're not going to want this to be so loud. So you can just bring it down so your other audio plays uh, pretty nicely and you can hear what's being said. Okay. Um, actually, let's do one last thing for this clip. Let's go and export this. So let's, how do you take this and save it out? So you would go to the file menu, you would go to export and media. And what you're going to do is with this new dialog box that's open, you're going to choose the format to save. Okay, um, Windows Media is good if you have a PC that you're working on. H.264 is good if you have a Mac. Uh, I'm just going to go with H.264. I'm going to go and I'm going to change the name. So I'm going to click there. I'm going to call this Edit uh, Clip Final. So that way I know what it is. It saves as an MP4 file. And I'm going to click Save. So that's where it's going to go and that's what it's going to be called. I'm going to leave these clicked as export audio and video. And then you have some other options with captions and all these other great things. Um, we're just going to leave that as is. Now it's going to go and automatically export this entire three minutes and 28 seconds. But what you could do is you can, you can change where this thing is going to go and um, save your work. So based on where the playhead is, like I started the first couple of minutes of my actual timeline, I didn't have anything there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this slider to where it immediately starts. So it looks like it starts right there. That's a good place to start the, the recording. This is a good place to end the recording, maybe about here. And then once I'm all set, and if you want to, you can kind of just scrub through and play. Once I'm all set, I'm going to hit the export button. All right, I want to show you one last thing. I know, sorry, I keep saying last thing, last thing. One last thing. Okay, I'm going to zoom out of all of this because you can see I have got a couple minutes of nothing right there. Um, one of the things you might want to do is to select all of your um, clips, drag it to the beginning, and then you just kind of go back to the beginning. So when you try to do your export, you're not going to have any of those issues that I kind of just talked about a moment ago. You're going to have everything from the start to the end. Okay, so rapid fire export is file menu, export media, name it as an H.264 or whatever compression you want call it whatever you want so maybe screen capture to click save and then of course you select the part that you want and in this case I've got an eight second video that I can export all right guys I hope that was a helpful video sorry it took so long to get through we'll see you in the next one take care